This message is transmitted at the request of the Pierce County Emergency Management. Civil emergency message issued for all of Pierce County, King County, Lewis County, and Cowlitz County in West Central Washington. Until 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, on June 4th at 7.01 Pacific Standard Time, the United States Geological Survey picked up several strong earthquakes on the crater of Mount Rainier in Pierce County. The United States Geological Survey believes that Mount Rainier may show signs of an imminent super eruption. Residents should think about evacuating all river valleys surrounding Mount Rainier at this time, but evacuation is not required at this time. Please stand by for further updates. This message is transmitted at the request of the Pierce County Emergency Management. Evacuation watch issued for Pierce County, King County, Lewis County, and Cowlitz Counties in West Central Washington. At 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 7, United States Geological Survey seismologists and volcanologists have detected cracking in the northwest flank of Mount Rainier. Swelling of the mountain was also detected. Earthquakes continue to swarm around the mountain at this time. The greatest earthquake was a magnitude 4.3 on the crater of Mount Rainier. Evacuation is strongly urged at this time. Please stay tuned in case a warning is issued. This message is transmitted at the request of the Pierce County Emergency Management. Civil danger warning in effect until 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time June 12 for Pierce County, King County, Lewis County, and Cowlitz Counties in West Central Washington. At 3 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 9th of 2013, United States Geological Survey volcanologists detected a 6.1 magnitude earthquake on the northwest flank of Mount Rainier. Glacial movement on the mountain has been increasing in the last two days. Citizens from Priyalop have reported smoke rising from the crater of the volcano. Evacuation is strongly urged at this time, and may be required soon. Mount Rainier is expected to erupt within the next couple of days. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing situation. This message is transmitted at the request of the Pierce County Emergency Management. Evacuation warning in effect until 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time June 14 for Pierce County, King County, Lewis County, and Cowlitz Counties in West Central Washington. At 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 13 of 2013, United States Geological Survey volcanologists have picked up strong distress signals on several sensors surrounding Mount Rainier. Evacuation is mandatory for the warned areas surrounding the volcano. If you do not evacuate by tomorrow, you might face serious injury or certain death. Mount Rainier is expected to erupt tomorrow. Evacuate now. Repeat, evacuate now.
His message is transmitted at the request of the Pierce County Emergency Management. Civil emergency message in effect for Pierce County, King County, Lewis County, and Cowlitz County in West Central Washington until 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 15th. At 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 15th, Pierce County Emergency Management felt a strong earthquake from headquarters in Lakewood, Washington. United States Geological Survey has confirmed this earthquake to be magnitude 7.3, with the epicenter being the top of the Mount Rainier volcano. A glacier has supposedly collapsed on the northeast side. This message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. Volcano warning in effect for all of West Central Washington until further notice. At 12.32 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 15th, United States Geological Survey confirmed a glacial collapse on the northeast flank of the volcano. A ladder is now heading down the White River at 60 miles per hour. Locations in the path of this ladder include Greenwater, Inumclaw, Asila, and Auburn. Also, citizens refuging on the hilltops surrounding the Prialop River Valley reported a very loud explosion followed by a massive earthquake coming from the direction of Mount Rainier. A black mass was also reported coming from the northwest flank of the volcano. A ladder is likely to flow down the Prialop and Carbon River Valleys. If you have not evacuated the Prialop, Carbon, and White River Valleys, please do so now, or you will face certain death. This message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. Civil danger warning in effect for all of Washington until further notice. At 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 15th, the public reported a massive ash cloud spewing out the crater of the Mount Rainier volcano. A ladder was also detected at the base of the Prialop River Valley, moving into Orting at 70 miles per hour, approximately 30 feet in height. If you are in or near Orting, it may be too late to evacuate. The winds are moving north-northwest at 20 miles per hour, with gusts to 40 miles per hour at times. Therefore, all of the Seattle metropolitan area will be affected by this ash cloud. Move inside a sturdy building, cover up all cracks and turn off ventilation devices. Make sure that ashfall does not build up on your roof, or it will collapse. If you must go outside, put a warm rag over your mouth and nose, cover your body in warm clothing, and protect your eyes. Please stay tuned for further updates from the United States Geological Survey. This message is transmitted at the request of the Pierce County Emergency Management. Tsunami warning in effect for Commencement Day, the Narrows, Hood Canal, Harrow Strait, Admiralty Inlet, Lake Washington, and the entire Puget Sound Basin, until further notice, at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 15th, trained professionals on the Commencement Day in Tacoma have spotted a massive ladder that caused devastation to the city of Fife, and the western part of downtown Tacoma, this ladder plunged into the bay with a speed of 80 miles per hour, at a confirmed height of 100 feet. This enormous mud flow has caused a disturbance in the Puget Sound region, therefore tsunami has possibly formed, but has not been confirmed yet. If you live near open waters, or at low ground level, move to higher ground immediately. Tune to King 5 TV for further information on this developing situation.
His message is transmitted at the request of the Pierce County Emergency Management. Earthquake warning in effect for areas surrounding Washington State until further notice. The eruption of Mount Rainier has caused a fault disturbance near Anderson Island. This fault line could burst at any time, creating another tsunami. The commencement bay disturbance has been confirmed as a large, damaging tsunami by trained professionals and the Washington Coast Guard. If you live in Steelacum, DuPont, Olympia, Des Moines, Seattle, Tacoma, or Burien, go to higher ground now. Repeat, an earthquake warning has been issued for all of Washington State and surrounding areas until further notice.